Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 5.7, the end of the chapter 5, uh, constructing this, this project, this visualisation. Uh, in this uh, lesson we're going to have a go at importing a 3D character and putting some motion capture data on it because that will be a brilliant way of being able to see how our set design works in relationship with a human person or a simulator human person. Now what I've actually done, I've downloaded a, a package that I, I'm a really big fan of, I've had it for years and I use it for everything. It's just one of those wooden artist mannequins. Um, which is a really great reference for a human being. It moves anatomically correctly, but it's genderless, which I think is really good, and it's um, it's colourless. So in, you know we're, we're being uh, really uh, you know, considerate and PC about about what we're putting onto our stage, especially if you haven't yet cast the persons uh, in, you know, into the show. You don't know who they're going to be. You don't know what it's going to look like. Um, you don't know what the costume's going to be yet. It's just a very neutral person, a neutral pose. So. Um, I've got it in here and I shall bring one in so you can see prefabs Unity 5.3 and I'll bring in the ragdoll one here so there we go and actually I need to update the materials for this because it was built pre-URP um, in fact what all I need to do is select it and oh, there we are base screw this, there should be two or three materials attached to this and I want get into it you can see it's got the rig already you can see all those lines on it these capsules are how it controls its um, the mesh so we go base screw material select material I've got I'm going to select both of these wood texture and and that one I'm going to go to render pipeline universe render pipeline upgrade selected materials proceed and actually I think one of the problems with this is just need to apply it there we go so that's a lovely little model isn't it um, I bought this, one of the first models I ever bought, and I use it for everything. Now it's actually usually has like a the stick and the uh, and the base, but I, it's been removed, which is great. So this person, just like this, is enough. Right, we can use that as a way of being able to see what things look like. Um, I think it cost me about eleven or twelve pounds on the Unity Asset Store. I'd really recommend it, <laughs> or go to you know CG Trade or Turbo Squid or, or Sketchfab, find something similar, a robot even, just something really nice and generic. And it's great. You can see how the lights coming. You know, you can see how that side lights working. You can see my backlight sort of just picking it up a little bit. Uh, it's got some lovely form there, hasn't it? It's nice. Um, and we start to really appreciate what the lighting is doing to a person as well as the scenery. Something that's often forgotten. And because this lighting is real time, if I selected that directional light, let's go back to my lights. I've got this directional light on the side here. Would have helped if I named it. Um, I can change intensity. We can see what that does. So if I put more on, get a nice little bit of bit of stronger key light from one side. Uh, maybe quite a little bit of lavender. There we go. So it's just a little bit more. A little bit for real. You can see how that would actually look. And also this is a camera's version of it. This is a camera interpretation rather than a uh, an eye, but it gives you a good idea. So there we go. Now, adding emotion capture data. This is a bit where this is going to go wrong for me, um, but we're going to have a go. So animation. We've got some animations in Hill Ready that we brought in earlier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import um, some motion capture data from a project that I've been doing recently and let's see have I lost it I've lost it already I just had it open um, now what I'm one plan I'm bringing in is uh, an FBX that I've exported from Motive um, which is Optitrack's own um, software uh, and it's it's just a way of bringing in um, the, the 3D character and all the uh, data that's connected to it, but I can't find it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you off, find it, and then and then carry on. So I'll be back in one sec. 